Hey everyone, um, I have heard from multiple students that they have seen questions on totipotent cells on T7. So today let's uh, look at what these cells are, what their functions are, so that you're prepared for T7. Now totipotent cells are basically a group of stem cells. So what are stem cells? These cells are very powerful. They are undifferentiated cells, but that they can divide and grow into specialized cells. So if you look at the picture on the right, if this is a stem cell, it has the ability to differentiate into all kinds of body cells. A stem cell can develop into an immune cell, a muscle cell, a fat cell. So this is based on what the body needs, right? And if you remember from the genetics lesson, stem cells um, can divide and, and differentiate into different types of cells. And that's because even though they have the same genome, these cells can turn on different genes, right? Or express different genes so that they can have um, different appearances and different functions. Now, totipotent cells are a type of stem cells. And if we look at the different categories of stem cells, and really it's a, a hierarchy in terms of how powerful the cell can be, uh, which is basically the capability of the cell to differentiate into different types of cells. The most powerful, the one on the top of this hierarchy is totipotent stem cells. Toti means all. So this means totipotent cells can develop into all kinds of cells in our body. And these to uh, totipotent cells are basically the zygote or the fertilized egg. Now, if you recall, once the sperm fertilizes the oocyte, um, it becomes a zygote, right? And this zygote, which is this single cell, can go through rapid mitosis, right? And eventually divide into many, many cells, right? So this zygote cell can um, have this ability to become really all kinds of different cells in your body. So the zygote or the fertilized egg is the totally potent stem cell. It can become anything in your body. All right, now, if we go down a level, the second most powerful stem cells are these pluripotent stem cells. So they have the potential to differentiate into any type of human tissues, but not as powerful as totally potent cells because that cell can develop into all kinds of cells. But pluripotent cells doesn't have that ability because they appear a little bit later in the embryonic development. So this is where you see pluripotent cells. Usually a few days after fertilization, the embryo enters into this a hollow ball of cells uh, known as blastocyst. And these cells are the pluripotent cells. For example, um, certain stem cells can develop into connective tissues, and that includes all types of connective tissues, right? Such as fibrous connective tissue, bone, cart uh, cartilage, blood. So you can see they are very, very different, right? It's a really wide group of connective tissues, but they don't have the unlimited ability, right? To differentiate into any kind of cells. So for the connective tissue stem cells, they cannot differentiate into epithelial, muscle, or nervous tissues. The next level is multipotent stem cells. Now, both the pluri and multi mean um, several, multiple, um, but multipotent cells are a level below pluripotent stem cells. Multipotent cells can only differentiate into different types of cells within a specific cell lineage or a small number of lineages. For example, hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow can um, only differentiate into blood cells, right? Red blood cells, white blood cells. They can't differentiate into other types of cells. So you can see uh, it's a small, it's a specific um, cell lineage. And then the lowest here, that's the unipotent stem cells. Unit means one, right? So these cells can only differentiate into 
uh, one type of cells, like skin cells, um, make skin cells, muscle cells make muscle cells. Now let's look at some practice questions. This is about the function of totipotent cells. And I think so far, some students have seen uh, a question about the function of totipotent cells on Ts. So that's why I designed this question. Now, of course, they're not for support and protection, right? That's not their function. Are they germline cells to produce gametes? No, um, those would be more specific, less powerful cells, right? Like a spermatogonia that will make sperm or oogonia that will make oocytes. Is it C, produce specialized cells for body development and growth? And that's correct, right? Totally potent cells can um, really differentiate into all kinds of specialized cells in the body. And uh, D, that's not correct because any cell, right, when it goes through cell division, can pass on genetic information to the other cells. So the correct answer is C. Next question. This is kind of a recap of the different categories of stem cells that we have just covered. I don't think T's will ask questions this advanced, but it doesn't hurt to kind of just uh, go over that again and reinforce your memory. Totally potent cells are capable of differentiating into all types of body cells, right? Because this is the most powerful stem cells in the body. And then the other types of stem cells are at lower tiers, right? They, so they have a limited of powers. They can only uh, differentiate into a, sp a specific lineage of cells um, that's a multipotent or um, a little bit broader, uh, all kinds of connective tissues that's uh, pluripotent cells. Or if it's just one specific type of cells, that will be unipotent. All right, uh, so this is a quick lesson on totally potent cells and I hope this video is helpful and um, hopefully you will get this question on T's because now you know um, the answer. All right, thank you for watching guys. I will see you next time.